earlier in the week, I released a video showing how I would use the color transfer tool in uh, on one photo raw once that's available with the Luminar Big Fall upgrade. As I was ending that video, I was like, you know, why don't I edit this photo and kind of show you some of the refine tools as we're looking at masking inside of on one anyway, and I would be using some masks to really make this image uh, the way that I would edit it. So with that being said, we're still here with our layer from Boris FX. If you didn't catch the first video, this is what we originally started with coming into on one after I sent it into Boris FX to do the color transfer. And this is really just simulating what would happen if I were to do the color transfer with Luminar Neo. Now I have my image ready to go. And what I said I would do is probably darken the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, we're going to use super select or not super select AI. We'll use add adjustment and then I'm going to use the quick mask brush AI. This is going to give me the ability to select the subject and then I'll just invert the mask. This is one of the ways that I think you have to make a decision when you're selecting things inside of a photo. How do you want to make the selection? In my experience, if I want to select the background, it's easier to select the person, make a good mask there, and then invert the mask. So that's what I'm going to do here once on one gets done loading. So now I have access to my super select or my quick mask brush. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag a rectangle all the way over the subject on one's going to be smart enough to know this is what you want to have selected. We can see that the hair is going to need some work. All right. Probably even around the fingers and everything like that, but we're going to focus on the hair today for this particular tutorial. So now that I have that going, I'm going to go ahead and paint in this effect. So that's going to apply the negative exposure to my subject. Obviously, I don't want that, but let's take a look at the mask that we got, because that's what we're really looking at in this video. If I hit the letter O, you can see that that is the mask that I have, and it's not very well defined in the hair. It just kind of globbed everything together here. And we need to refine that to make this look a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the mask selected. And then I'm going to come up here to the top and grab my refine brush. Now, I think it was in Photo Raw 2023 that we got a better or a more enhanced hair and brush method or just different methods that we can use to refine. Now, this is by no means a comprehensive tutorial on the refine tool. I just kind of wanted to showcase this because I think it is important that we at least understand some examples here. To really like be frank and simple, what we want to do is just select the hair and branches method on our uh, refine brush. And then I'm just going to make the brush size a little bit larger. And what I want to do is I want to paint this effect out of the hair. So I'm going to select paint out and then I am just going to paint around the hair in the areas where I no longer need that effect to be. And yes, I am going over the hair. Now I probably should have done this in smaller segments, but I didn't. So when I let go of my mouse, you can see that it has done a better job with the overall hair. Let's take a look at the mask. And compared to what I got originally, you're looking at those side by side here. This mask is much better than what we had originally, at least uh, in my opinion. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. But is it something that I can get away with when I'm talking about uh, making the background a little bit darker? Let's find out. So we're going to make sure that we're still on the correct mask. Uh, for the adjustment and I'm going to hit the invert tool or invert button and now that has made the background darker if I turn this off and turn it back on you can see what it's doing overall in the image and you can see that the sky is starting to come through her hair uh, and we're not getting any like crazy halos one of the things that I would always like to point out whenever I teach people uh, masking and refining masks inside of on one, the goal isn't to get the most pinpoint perfect mask. All right. 
Uh, on one is a program that's designed for photographers to make a mask, make edits and get the photo out and into the world relatively fast. All right. In just a few clicks, I was able to select the subject, refine the hair. And now I can go on about finishing with my edit. I probably wouldn't darken this too much or that far. Uh, and that would probably be all that I do here. Now, I do have a good mask. So what I'm going to do is copy this mask. We're going to come over here, grab the copy tool or press the copy button. We're going to add a new adjustment. And this time what I want to do is kind of focus on the subject uh, herself. So we're going to click on the mask of the layer that I want to adjust. And then we're going to paste this in. Now this is going to put it onto the background again, but by hitting the invert button, we're now selecting the subject. I don't want to do a negative exposure adjustment, so I'm going to increase the exposure just a little bit, like really just a little bit. And then I'll probably even open the shadows just a touch there and contrast her. Not that much maybe just a little bit of contrast. Everything is subtle when you start working uh, with images that have already been edited like this one has. Uh, but when it's your original image and it's a raw file, I think you're going to have a little bit more latitude. So now that I have that going, what I'm going to do is I feel like her face needs to be brightened a little bit. So I'm just going to add an adjustment, reset this, open up the shadows, and I'm just going to paint right over her face. Just like that, I think I have the image that I would go with. So this is what we started out with before uh, I made all of the adjustments. And this is what we have now. So hopefully you found some value in this edit. It was a quick edit, uh, refining the mask and just building off of a tutorial that I did earlier in the week. Again, if you want to pick up on one photo raw consider using my coupon code freewellphotos20 and because you know right now we're in that window of luminar big fall upgrade being on sale if you want to pick that up early bird special consider using the link down in the description box as well as the coupon code that i have there for you so you can save a little bit of money if you got questions leave it in the comment section and until the next time i want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating Peace.